Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the Living Environment Regions for January 2017. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregions.org and down here you click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get to work. Here's problem eight. In August 2010, the Asian clam was discovered in Lake George. It is not native to the area. A single clam can reproduce and release hundreds of offspring in a day. Fish and crayfish eat the clams, but cannot keep pace with the rate at which the clams reproduce. The introduction of the Asian clam into Lake George is, well, positive because it adds to the stability of the ecosystem, positive because the fish and crayfish would otherwise not have food, or negative because it decreases the water pollution in the lake, or negative because it competes with the native clam species, uh, and reduces stability. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, definitely try this problem on your own. Uh, and if you get the same answer as we do, hit that like button and let us know. Uh, so um, let's see. Let's go one at a time uh, and and see if we can establish which of these answers is is might be the answer. First off, uh, in the Asian clam in Lake George. All right, not not native okay not native usually when you add a non-native species into an area it usually produces bad results uh because the, that species is not uh, accustomed to that area that species itself can die really quickly because it's not used to the area or vice versa if it doesn't if it happens to find itself in an ecosystem that's perfect for it it might reproduce out of control and cause problems for native species and in fact that's actually what it says it's here. It, it reproduces and produce hundreds of offspring in a day, okay? And then the fish and crayfish eat the clams, so nice positive result food, but cannot keep pace with the rate at which clams reproduce, okay? That sounds like a negative end result. So let's see. A positive, I, I don't think so because it adds to the stability of the ecosystem. Here, it can, the, the native spe uh, crayfish and fish cannot keep uh, pace with the results. Uh, add stability, that would imply a static or dynamic equilibrium. Or, or, but this over here implies uh, instability, no equilibrium, okay? Sorry, I also have the sniffles. I have a little bit of allergies going on from the change in season. Uh, so if you hear me sniffle, that's why, and I apologize in advance. The next one, again, positive? Yeah, no, Bec but because the fish and the crayfish would otherwise not have food, this has to be false. Why, why does it have to be false? Think about it. If the fish and the crayfish didn't have food otherwise, wouldn't they die? Wouldn't they disappear? Wouldn't they become locally extinct? Yeah, they would because they don't have food. Um, uh, the Otherwise, the native species would become locally extinct. Of course, they would become locally extinct. Uh, so because they wouldn't have food. The next one, uh, negative. Negative makes more sense. This is good, okay? Because it decreases water pollution in the lake. Now, I don't see anything here that implies that that water pollution is decreased. Second, I can't think of a single reason why decre decreasing water pollution would be a bad thing. Uh, so that's definitely the answer is nonsensical. Uh, to begin with and second it actually implies something that's not contained in the problem so that's not the answer so the only remaining answer is four and let's see why that's the answer negative again it's negative we agree that it's negative uh because it's causing instability in the system it's killing off uh a local it's uh out competing the local uh life and then it's here it competes with the native clam species and reduces the stability now here they never mentioned native clam species right uh however it does reduce stability okay um so that is the most viable answer 
uh, it, despite the fact that they didn't in, include the native climate species because of the fact that we know that this is producing in, a massive amount of instability according to the problem. So that's the answer. Uh, if you are watching the video from our channel, just stay for the, stay tuned for the next video starting now. If not, go to our channel, uh, hit the like button, and go and go to the January 2017 bioregion section, uh, and and watch the video from there. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.